Before my guest comes on, I'm so excited, first of all, to talk to her. Um, so I got to give her a proper introduction, okay? You guys may have seen her on American Crime Story. I remember that. I like that movie. Lethal Weapon, Are We There Yet? And the hugely successful and popular show, Girlfriends. And she's now starring in BET's A Christmas Surprise. So everyone, I need to see those hearts and show some love for actress, writer, and director, Keisha Sharp, Sharp on here this afternoon. I'm so excited about this. <sighs> hey, uh -oh. man. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Okay. I, I don't know what's happening here. Okay. I'm trying to make it so it's it's not cut off so much. Hi, boo. Hi, boo. <laughs> Wait, there. I'm still cut off. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm so thankful and grateful that you decided to do this interview uh, this afternoon. Thank how have, you. How have you been holding up with the pandemic and everything that's going um, on? It's been, I mean, it's been, I've been staying positive through it. Time out. You're a little too close. You want to go oh, back. Uh -huh. Look at me. This is terrible. <laughs> Can you see me better now? Yeah. yeah okay. Well, uh, look. I don't know why it's cutting off like that. I've never yeah, had it's that cut happen. It's cutting off the top. Well, first of all, I just learned Instagram okay. changed some features on here. Okay. So, there we go. You can see me now? Yes. Yes, good. Keep it there. Keep it there. But go okay. ahead. So how have you been holding up? Talk to me. Um, I've been, it's been okay. I mean, it's been a rough year, just to be honest. Like I had some, you know, traumatic stuff happen. Um, uh, my, my mom passed away this year. It's just been a rough year, but. Yes, um, I saw that condolences to you and the family. Thank you. I'm, it's, uh, yeah, it's been a rough one, but I'm getting through like everybody. It's been a rough year for everybody. So I feel like we're, a lot of us are in the same boat in, in that sense. And we're getting through and um yeah yeah no i i you know i i saw that and i you know i i have a, a heart for you you know because <laughs> i do keisha i don't know if you remember i re honey of course i remember <laughs> when i saw i was like yes i want to do that <laughs> yes. i know her that was yes. like, how long ago was it now 10 10 over. no it, it has been i went and looked because i'm like how long has it been since I talked the last time we talked? And it's been 10 years ago, yes. exactly. No. Yes, really? it, was two, it was 2010. Well, okay, let me, let me clear. It was okay. in the summer, but I mean. Still, that's, that's 10 years. That's yeah. That's crazy. I know, right? Easy. So a lot has changed with you since like the last time that yes. we, we, you know, we talked because last time we talked, we talked about that beautiful hair. You oh, know, yes. <laughs> we did talk about that. I remember. <laughs> yes. You, oh my God. You must have a great memory. I, I don't actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or I just, I have, I have a great short term memory. I have a great short term memory. Um, not so much my long term, but I remember that. I remember I was doing a play. I was, uh, we were, um, yes. we did our interview like in the lobby of a, yes. of a hotel. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Two, there, there was two. It wasn't, it, you know, yes. Yes, yes. yes. So, <laughs> yes. So, things have changed just, you know, with me as well yes. as with you. But yes, yes. at that time, um, it was two hosts, but now I'm single. It's just yes, me. Yes, that's okay. That's, um, that works. <laughs> yeah, you know, but the fact that you even remember that we talked about your son and yes. my sister were yes, supposed I to hang out because they were that's around a, the same That's same right. Age. And now he's like, what? Six, How old almost 16. He'll be 16 in February. Yes, my sister's 16 too. See? Because <laughs> they were like six at the time. Yes. They Five, were six. Yeah. They were supposed to do a play date and everything. Yeah. Yep. Yes. But now I it's so weird for me because I still see her as that little girl. I'm pretty sure you still see your son like that too, yeah. right? For and sure. so now she's like 
cooking queen over here wow. making cinnamon rolls and okay i mean she's like a stellar student you know I love that so I how love that. so how's your son i mean he looks so oh gosh cool. he's he's flying planes you know he's he's working on a pilot license he's incredibly intelligent and he's really a well-rounded i say kid but you know young man he He's a great at filmmaking. He's also really smart with his calculus. And he has the world at his, at his feet at this point to what he wants to do. But he's a pretty incredible kid. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Well, I love to see, you know, your growth, right? Because yes. when, when we met 10 years ago, you know, things were like, Things were, of course, things were different. But yeah, yeah. we got to catch up. We got to catch up. So. Yes. Within that time, you have grown tremendously, I feel like. You tell me what you feel as an actress. Um, I mean, I guess we are all, I like, would never say we, we stopped growing. I, I feel like um, just the opportunities opened up. Not, not right. necessarily that I was all of a sudden different. Um, it just, opportunities opened up is the way I look at it, right? And, sure. and more, more diverse roles and things like that um and that's why i always when i feel like as an actor and a woman of color we don't always get you know opportunities to play something different right they we, we're seen as a few things and not um uh, three-dimensional and not just a, a human being not just mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what i mean we're everything and so it's it's nice especially now what's going on for the younger generation in this business things are opening up for them and I'm so excited for them um, and for me, but really for them. And I, I said this before where I, I, I come on the shoulders of so many women of color before me that didn't have opportunities as I have. And then the ones below me, the generation below um, younger generation, they have more opportunities than I had, but that's just the way it works. And I'm excited for this new, this new um, endeavor for um, entertainment that we're be we're being seen in every facet. You know, we're not just one thing. Yeah. Yeah. No. Absolutely. So, with that being said, because I was thinking about that, like just how within the time that you know we spoke and met, and just how things have changed and how we receive entertainment yeah. Yeah. has changed completely. Right. Yeah. So. If you were to give Keisha 10 years ago advice, what would it be? Hmm, what would I tell myself 10 years ago? Uh, well, there's just one thing that I always say now, and I don't know if I, I've said it 10 years ago. So um, when, there, you know, you go in for a lot of things in this business and you get rejected more than you do, ex you know, the yeses, right? And so how do you handle that? And for me, I my my thing I say now is just it wasn't my blessing to have; it's someone else's blessing, mm -hmm. and and it really releases so much of anything that you were holding on to, whether you felt well, I'm not good enough, or, or uh, maybe if I did a better job, whatever the questions that you have, and, and this goes for not just the entertainment business; this goes for anything. It's like when something doesn't happen for you, you I always say we're not the only ones in this world; you're not the only one praying. You know, there's other lives out there that that they that was for them mm -hmm. for whatever reason. It, you don't have to know the reason. You know that it wasn't for you because you didn't get it. And so that's such a a freeing thought that I I would tell myself earlier than always thinking that maybe I did something I wasn't good enough or I didn't do something well enough then. Right. Absolutely. So besides that because i know that's a huge thing right it's just yeah. always feeling like you're not good enough why didn't i get the opportunity yeah. what did i do yeah. wrong um you know you mentioned up and coming actors having different opportunities and being able to you know be in different spaces yeah. so now with this new landscape and this new climate what is some advice that you would give up and coming actors oh what would i say first of all you're 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 in a great space right now in terms of the business. You have so many more opportunities than were um, than your generations before you. So know that. I would also say that there's something really great about um, creating your own work, right? Right, 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 right. I mean, W-R-I-T-E, write your own projects. Um, know what you want to do because 
we we can wait around all day for what we want, right? Like we're, from someone else to give it to us. But there's something, there's a power in, in doing it on your own. And so I would say write your own projects. Know what you want to do. Collaborate. You have cam. Everybody has cameras now. We have. You have your phone. You can shoot something. Learn. Learn how to shoot something. Learn how to direct. Learn how to write. As you're waiting on the big projects from the big studios and the networks, make your own opportunities. I would mm. definitely say that. And hone your your talent, your gift. You know, mm -hmm. I never stop learning. I study, study, study. Even when I'm, I, I'm not saying in class. If that's what you want to do, that's great too. But I study film, I study work, I study, I see how something's shot and I'll study and I'll watch it over and over again. I'm always learning. I think that's important as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then um, sometimes I, I say healthily, um, I'm not an actress, but I'm just giving also advice because you, you kind of like, I, I felt the spirit to say something <laughs> else too. I don't know why, but I would say too, um, look at other people's work and not necessarily, you know, emulate verbatim, but take that too as learning. Cause sometimes we get so focused on, you know, what we're doing. Sometimes yeah, yeah. that outside creativity helps you become a cr more creative. 100%. When you watch some great work, you can't help but pick up some of that. Mm -hmm. and, studying it. and why, why, why did it, why feel that way by watching that? What did they do? whether it's the director or the writer or the actor, um, that's how you learn by being around what you want to do. And, and luckily for what we do in our business, you can be, be, you can be around what you want to do by just turning on the TV. You right. know what I mean? <laughs> you don't have to go anywhere. You can just say, I'm going to watch some great work and I'm going to learn from it. So, yeah. Absolutely. Now, I see that you've had an opportunity to get inside of your whole, like, creativity side and, yeah. do some directing and do yeah. some writing as well um why you know i know i noticed that is a, a, the next step for a lot of actors why is that so important for a lot of actors to get into that space well uh, what i will say it's it's i won't say it's important for actors to get in that space right it's important if you want to do it Right. Gotcha. So not every actor wants to be a director. Not every actor wants to be a writer. They just want to act. There's nothing wrong with that. For me, I'm a creative that wants to do everything. Right. So I want to be able to mold the story as a director does. I want to be able to write something, come up with something that you have all, you create something on paper and you see it live. I would love to, to, for that to happen as well. So you don't have to get into directing as a, as a actor. It's just something I've always wanted to do. I minored in directing in college, so for theater, but it still was always something that I knew I was going to do. I would never, for me, I never want to give up acting for, for directing. I want to be able to do all of it. And that takes some, a lot of, um, a lot of schedule stuff, because when you accept a directing gig, you're going to lose out on acting stuff going to happen and so and I'm in the I'm in the middle of that right now to be honest <laughs> um, but it, I'm I'm not complaining about it there's something I'm directing I'm so excited about directing it but I lost out on, on several acting things because they didn't want to work around that schedule and that was something that happened and I'm okay with it and um, those are the choices you have to make once you start directing it's like well you're going to have to make some choices between some projects when you have agreed to direct something. Um, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, no, yeah. so can you share what you're directing? Or is it um, still? I, I don't, I can't yet because it hasn't been released yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, but you, yeah, it's a, it's a show that I love. And uh, I'll tell you that it's TV. It's a TV show that I love. And it involves um, action, which I'm a fanatic about. Um, I love, I love action like Casino Royale to um, Mission Impossibles to the those those things I love. They just have to have great deep stories, but you also have action. Everything to me. Oh I wow! Because I love action films too, so it's it's good to meet another action girl. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but I can't wait to do one too. Like be one. Like I fight. I do all that. And a lot of times it, I'm not seen that way, right? So right. that's another thing I'll tell actors. It's like, sometimes you have to make them, you have to show them you can do it. And so 
if you have to do a sizzle reel, if you have to take yourself doing something that they don't see you as, I mean, Shirley yeah. Theron did Munster and they didn't see her in that character. So she had to show them she could do it and she won an Oscar for it. So there you go, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. So you actually want to get in there and fight and kick some butt. 100%. That's, oh, like, that's like at the top of my, that's at the top of my list. One of the top things on my list is what that I want to do. For I, sure. Look, we're speaking on it now. It's going to happen. Hello. Okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, let me go back a little bit, right? So yeah. you were talking about your college days. I know you kind of like got started on stage, right? Yeah. Yeah. So um, you grew up in Rochester, correct? Yes, that's right. But a lot of people, for some reason, mistaking you as a Brooklynite. What's going I, on? I don't that? know how that happened at all. I, listen, I love Brooklyn. So <laughs> it's not a bad one. People saying, hey, you from Brooklyn? No, I'm not. But I, that's not a down, you know, for Brooklyn that I'm not. But I'm not from Brooklyn. I'm from Rochester, New York. Um, and I don't know how that, I don't know what happened. I think Wikipedia had it on uh, Brooklyn for a while and I had them changed. Like I'm not from Brooklyn. And so that stuck to some, for some people. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Growing up in New York um, and just having, because I, I, I'm pretty sure, you know, you have the Broadways right there. Mm -hmm. and you had all of, you know, the different theaters and things of that nature. Yeah, so yeah. Um, what was it like, that made you decide I want to become an actress. I I don't think we've ever talked about that or I've ever found that out. How did you get your start? Um, just in general or before, like as, as an actor on television or as an actor general? See, I know it's so different. <laughs> um, so I, I, I'll do as an actor generally just okay. because, yeah. Okay, so I always, you know, I played the clarinet, the cello and piano growing up. I was always in art, the arts, right? And I always enjoyed theater. I was obsessed with it growing up. So I knew I was going to be doing acting. I did it in high school, all the theater plays, you know, all the plays in high school. And then when it was time to choose a college, I, I my mom wanted me to be a lawyer, but I was like, there's, yeah, no. So <laughs> I can see you being a lawyer, though. Yeah, you can. Yeah. She, well, I played some. So there you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I but I was good at debate and all that kind of thing too. So that was something that I enjoyed, but not as much as I did being on stage. And so when I was choosing a college, I just was like, I know exactly what I want to do. So I went to the Boston Conservatory um, and it was Tisch School, both of them Tisch um, and uh, NYU were the two schools that I got in and I chose the Boston Conservatory. And it was just something I always knew. I didn't even, I didn't even go like, well, let me do both, right? Let me go to a college or university where I can do, you know, study, you know, get my BFA um, and something else, but have a, you know, backup plan. I knew that I wanted to do this for a living. I just don't, one of the choices I was trying to make is whether I wanted to be in an orchestra or not. And play oh, wow. Clarinet. Yeah, play my clarinet <laughs> in an orchestra because I love that too. But yeah, I knew, I just always knew. And you always I always knew. Now, the choice between theater and television, I didn't know because I just wanted to be on Broadway and, and do plays and musicals. And when I got to New York, I started getting, like, I got two soaps, you know? <laughs> and so I was like, okay, but I, I can see myself doing that. And then, but once I shot my first film, which was uh, Pootie Tang. Uh, oh, yeah, that was your first film? Pootie Tang? First, yes, it was my first film. And once I shot that, I was on, I remember the day I was on set and I remember thinking this feels like home to me. And oh. from that moment on, that was it. That, that was yeah. it. I love, I, and I'm so glad that, you know, the world has been able to experience you because for me, yeah. you know, girlfriends was my connection to you, but I see a <laughs> lot of people in the crowd talking about how much they love lethal weapon. Yeah. Yeah. And, was, yeah. Yeah, and so a lot of people are sad and like, can you guys please come back? And oh. do you think Lethal Weapon will make a resurrection? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I hate to say that because, but I just want the fans to also be that the truth is, you know, it's just, it, it's not going to come back. It's like, it ran its course and everybody knows when Damon made the video where he was just tired and um, didn't want to come back. And so... 
it didn't it didn't come back and so that's just the way the, the how do you say the way the cookie crumbles yeah um i miss it i love the show as well um i love the characters i loved every season that we did and you know hopefully another lethal weapon comes around that people can fall in love with you know yeah oh, that's so sad i know a lot of people are like i love the show i love the show <laughs> So let's talk about what you're working on now. Yes. Which is, okay, so I was trying to get the screener. I didn't get the screener yes. um, just because by the time I asked for the screener, it had already played. So <laughs> yes, we yes, don't have yes. a screener. Yes. But I will say this. I saw the trailer. Yes. <laughs> and it looks like, tell me if I'm wrong. Yes. First of all, it's called A Christmas Surprise. Yes. <laughs> and it looks like it's so funny because Wendy Raquel, I love her. she has a very funny way about her. Yes. Um, she makes me laugh in anything that she does. And so, and then with you, you have a little bit of a comedic side. Well, I would have, I have, a, I would hope I have a little more than a little bit, but <laughs> um, no, I, I mean, that's the thing that I love. I mean, uh, if you haven't seen everything I've done, because most if people just have seen like, you know, girlfriends. Not that she wasn't funny, that Monica wasn't funny, or um, Lisa. They did Weston. have a little bit of like a yeah, a little fun. bite, yeah. yeah. But are we there yet? Was something that I did that I got to be. I just I love that show that I did, um, but I do everything, but I don't get to do everything, and so in this movie, um, you, she still has sass. She's a. She has, she has a comedy in a different way. It's like um, the cut, you know, yes. the character is a little of the cut, Demetria. Um, yeah, it's, it was fun. I mean, Wendy and I worked so well off of each other. We, we were like, we need to do something after this, do a show or something because- we Was that just, the first time that you guys worked together? Okay. First time we've ever worked together. And again, I, I tell people this movie just came out of nowhere where Everything was shut down, you know, for, for COVID. Everything was shut down. And the, this was one of the first things that was shot uh, when we reopened, when the industry reopened. So I was had just lost my mom, and I'm still in Rochester. And I get this call, Kisha, do you want to do this film? Terry Vaughn is directing and, and Wendy, Wendy Raquel Robinson. And I didn't even read the script, and I never do that. Um, <laughs> but, and it's a Christmas movie, and I thought, and it just... It came at the exact time that I needed. Like I needed to laugh. I needed to, to, yeah. you know, put my mind on something else. And I love Terry. And Terry and I have been trying to find something to work with together. And I've never worked with Wendy, so it was just a perfect time for this movie. And and I just hope that people enjoy it. I know already uh, people have seen it and, and it's it's gotten great ratings and people love the film because it's one of those Christmas films where. Um, there's a conflict and it gets resolved, you know, as m most Christmas movies do, but it's just, it's so much fun to watch these two characters and their children and the scenario. What would you do? I think a lot of people put themselves in the, the, the feet or the shoes of these characters. What would I do if my child did that? Or the child, you know, the kid, younger kids that are watching, it's like, would I do that to my parents? It's right. a great film. So much fun. No, I, I look, I, I'm so mad that I missed the screener because I was ready. I was gonna, you know, kind of watch it while I'm doing yeah, my yeah. makeup. Cause I, I love laughing. Let me tell you, like, <laughs> it is there. Yes. You need it. And so I will find any cheap laugh I can get out of something. I'm gonna yes. do it. I'm gonna you gotta laugh see it though, boo. You have to, you're gonna enjoy it. You really, yes. I, I, I feel like I am, um, especially because there was this one part where you painted a mustache that oh, was yes. on the trailer <laughs> how crazy did you guys get with that paint I, I i i mean we got crazy but we we wanted to get crazier um i mean the, what we did in the amount of time shooting this movie and i think we shot this movie in two and a half weeks something oh like that God. i mean we went in everybody cast and crew everybody was doing 100% in a small amount of time that we, we did this film and it came out incredible, you know? <laughs> and even if we had more time, it would, it's still, this movie just came out really great. Um, uh, so that moment that happens with the mustache and everything, um, did we get crazy with the paint? We would have gotten crazier if we had more time. 
Okay. That's what well, I'll say. So we, we got crazy, but we would have gotten crazier. I have a question. So the plot yes. of the whole movie is, yeah. you know, a businesswoman. She, she, she's, um, she's growing her business and her daughter comes home and tells her, look, mom, um, I got engaged and I'm getting married to someone that the mama never knew. She hasn't met the, the boy's family. Yep. And so that's where you come in. You're the, the mother with, for the guy. Yes. But um, my big question is, what would you do if your son did that? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny. I was just talking about everybody else putting themselves in that position. I never thought about it. <laughs> um, well, I know what Demetria did. What would I do? Um, I would. I would. I would. I would. <laughs> I don't know, boo. I mean, I would like to think that I would first get over the shock of it, mm -hmm. and then try to get to know the young lady um, and and try to convince him. <laughs> can we wait a little longer? Can we give it a, listen, I'm not against you getting married, but can we just push it back a month so I can get to know her? Um, yeah, I think I would do something like that. <laughs> I had not been asked, that's a very good question. I had not been asked that question. <laughs> Well, I know how much your son means yeah. to you, and and so you I mean that's a huge Christmas surprise. And I'm that's thinking, right. what, I wonder what Ke how Keisha was, you know? Yeah, honey, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I would be kind. I would be kind. I wouldn't be like my character at all, um, and I wouldn't be like Wendy's character either. I would just try to figure out how to talk him out of it. <laughs> um, <laughs> For just a little while, so I can get to know this her heart. No, you know, I, yeah, that's what I would do. I would okay. do that. that. So, have you ever had a what's the what's your best Christmas surprise, mm -hmm. and what was your worst Christmas surprise? Ooh, what's my best? What's my best Christmas surprise? I'm sure it was something my husband did. I mean, he does so many great things. It's like. Uh, I'm sure it was, uh, oh, maybe, oh, okay, yeah, maybe my car three years ago, or the, or, yeah, the orchid. Is, uh, he, is Brad over there telling he's right you? Over there. He's always here. <laughs> he's always helping me, honey. I don't know how to do that. You see, I'm on live. I'm doing pretty listen, good. <laughs> listen, I understand. I was just thinking before I came on live, so yeah. my boyfriend is usually here helping me. He's my yes. assistant, right? I love it. Today he decided, I'm out. I'm going to go do something. And I was like, <laughs> um, I need you. <laughs> Where you going? <laughs> I said, okay. And I said, okay, go ahead. But now as I, I got a stain on my shirt. <laughs> see, I, I don't, don't see that. <laughs> oh, no, I do. <laughs> I, had, do? I got a stain on my shirt because I was trying <laughs> to put my shirt on after I did the makeup. <laughs> I, I, look. look I, I needed my drink. He usually gets me a drink. <laughs> he usually sets up my, my light. So I all I have it. to do is like a pretty princess and sit down. And so I thought about you. I said, Brad is so helpful with Keisha. Oh, wait. Look, and wait, wait. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's helping her right now. <laughs> I'm like, right here. This, this thing was, but I don't know if you noticed the, the stand being moved, but it was yeah. being moved. And it, that was him. Like, <laughs> Look at, look, you're moving it right now. <laughs> Stop playing, boo, bang it up. Hey, Brad. I haven't, I, the last time I, Brad was. Hey. <laughs> he I was probably so, sounded really close to the mic, I think. Bring, bring Brad in here. Brad, come here. Come here, baby. Ready. Yes, you are. Come here. Yes, you come are. Come in. Come in. Quick. Don't put a head on, baby. No, come here. <laughs> quick. You got to come in quick. Come here, baby. Come on in, Brad. I haven't seen you in 10 years. It's been 10 okay. years. You come Just in. a quick hello. Hey, Brad. <laughs> you hey. still so I'm not camera ready. Yes, you There's you a reason are. I'm off screen. Uh, blah, but he's blah, here blah. like throwing me gems. He was like, you're uh, he got me an orchid. So, okay, first oh, of all, what, well, first I of must... all, you can stay. First Congrats. of all, stay back. Stay. Just stay a second. Yeah. Okay, so we went, we love Hawaii. 
And so we went to, um, and I love orchids. They're like my favorite flower. They don't last long, but I love them. I love them. So what happened was um, one Christmas, he, he had an orchid in Hawaii named after me. That was one of the best surprises. Aww. Like literally, I had no idea it was coming. Well, Krista, I, I'm always like writing poems. and So I wrote a whole poem about how she's a flower and that type of, so then she's like, oh, this is sweet. And then she opened it up and it was like an orchid named after. So you could go and purchase it in Hawaii and it's called the Exquisite Keisha Sharp. So. Oh, that I was, didn't even know that this was even That's just possible. a small. I didn't know me either. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Brad, are you still recording and still doing music? I, I yes. think I've seen yes. stuff on social. Yes, it's the, it's that whole figuring out when the, I have so much content that it's trying to figure out how to be strategic about it because that's what I'm I'm not great at the selling part. So hopefully you can help me. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm great at creating. I can make. I can write. I can do all types of stuff. Everything. So I have a lot of content. I have like. I just released the album called Mindset. We have some Christmas stuff we're working on. We're going to release next year, but her and I together. Oh, that's cute. But I have this, uh, my next thing is coming out in a couple months is at eighties. It's all acoustic versions of 80s I love songs. It. It's like yes. No, I, I've, I've listened to your, you know, and even before back then when we met, I was like, Oh my God, you have such a beautiful voice. Oh, you know? bless you. And so both of you guys, I love the whole singing together and creating oh, together. You. And so, yeah, I mean, you helped a lot facilitating the interview with um, myself and Keisha back then too. Yes. But you were very helpful then as oh, well. So yeah. I, I love to see you guys thriving. I love to see what you guys put out together. I'm Thank following, you. you know, you. So Thank I, you. I, I, you know, I want you to. I want you, Brad, to be. I mean, you have been on stages. Oh I, yes, oh, I've seen lots it. of them. But I'm yeah. talking about like big arena and by himself. Yeah. Yes. Well, you I, know. he did. I'm not, I mean, it's one of those things we talk about it, and I'm sure people out there can relate. I mean, he's, it's one of those things where I say, like, let's just say with the directing, hold on, hold on, with directing, <laughs> I've, I've missed out on so many things because I decided to direct, that's okay. But he, there's stories that Brad has where there's so many boy bands that were, no. I'm not going to say, no. I'm not going to say what they were, but he would have been a part of, but he turned down because he wanted to be a solo artist. And so it's hard when you're, when you know you have what it takes and you're a good person and kind. And but sometimes, the, sometimes this, this, it's, it's this, a harder, this, this, harder road. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, very, now. I'm very, I'm, very, I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll, I'll let you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Now it's just his nose. But no, look, I'm, look. I'm done. Yeah, I'm slow. This is me creeping. Just, ooh. <laughs> I'll let you Stop go, man, because you know what? I respect it because my boyfriend, he does not know. This is not, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, not, no, he's very, and I respect it. He's, it's his private, he didn't, this is my career. He didn't yes, choose yes, to, yes, you know, yes. yeah. but at the same time, I do remember meeting both of you. So I just wanted to say hello. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> not to Bless you and congrats and tell your boyfriend I said, what's up? <laughs> Him and I'll hang off camera. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank all right. you, baby. <laughs> So to wrap this out, Keisha, I know I've kept you quite some time. You know, no, me and you, girl, we could keep going. I know. I'm like, it doesn't feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, I wanted to end the conversation, and, and this is on a personal note for me, yes. right? Because yes. I always, your hair, girl, please <laughs> give the secret now. Okay? Well, I, what I'll say is I've always had a lot of hair. Always. I know you said and this before. Always through my, but my mom, my mom, first she worked at Kodak, but the people really know my mom as a great hairstylist. And so I grew up with having a hairstylist do my hair my whole life. And so a great one, my mom, who the kind that takes care of hair, you know, she was about hair care. And so when I went to college, I didn't know how to do my hair. So I had a rough time because I had never done my own hair. So then I started going to salons when I was in Boston. But I've learned how to, like I put very, I don't do a whole lot of heat on it. Um, I, I don't do a whole lot with it, just to be honest. Like I watch hair videos on YouTube and I love watching it. And then I, you know, you, all of a sudden there's four hours past and you still watching these hair videos, but I'm obsessed with them. But I can't do all that stuff. It's way too much. You know, all yeah. I do is wash my hair with a Veda, um, 
uh, what is the it curls called? though, the curls, the big volume curls. Yes, and I oh yes, and I do that with um, I do that with a, a curl and iron. I I do it a certain way. Wow. Like even even when I when I have my hairstylist, which I love, I have a few. I have to teach them how I curl it for the 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 the, the curls that I want because I don't. There's a different way you can curl it, the same hair, and, and I don't Listen. like it. Say no more. Just do a video <laughs> on TikTok or YouTube. I should do a video. I should do a video. And show the curl technique. Yeah. And then I will use that technique <laughs> and hear it out. Okay? Okay. 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 I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> That's all you have to do because do I have tried and tried literally since the moment I met you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to attempt the curls that Keisha did. And I just, it never happened. So yeah, there's just, a certain way I do my, my curling iron. To, and I have sometimes it's like, oh, that's not right. And I got to do it again because I don't like the curl that happened. It's just a particular, because you can go from like this kind to an 80s real quick. Not that there's anything wrong with the 80s, but you don't always want to look like an 80 curl. So mm -hmm. there's a particular way that I hold the curl and iron and do it so it doesn't turn into that kind of curl pattern. Yeah, I love it, Keisha. I love Thank it. You. I love you. And oh. I so appreciate you talking to me. Of we course. Have to keep, please, let's try to keep in contact because I know 10 years is like, come on. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much. And then in the next 10 years, I mean, <laughs> we want to do that. We want to keep it, you know. <laughs> better about this but before yeah. you go again yeah. you guys if you can it's on BET now yeah. you could get it you could watch on BET plus Keisha Enter. Sharps in it Wendy Raquel Robinson um some new actors I don't really know their names right um, off Caitlin that. and Will and Mustafa they're, okay. they're they're fabulous and I I love introducing new actors and I'm excited for them for what their future is going to be so please support them as well yeah, support the, the, the new, the, our, you know, our veteran actors. Yes. Um, just support all around, okay? Yes. And I don't know about you, Keisha, but yeah. I know about me, and I do, like, me and the boyfriend have a Christmas list of movies we're going to watch. Yeah. You know, Christmas. We do this whole Home Alone. Yes. Watch it. So add this one, guys, to your Christmas yes. list of movies to watch. It is called A Christmas Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> I like that reading. <laughs> Surprise! And Keisha Sharp is in it. You have a whole great cast. It looks funny. If you're looking for a funny movie, yes. this is probably the one that you want to watch. So so. Yes. Anything absolutely. coming up? Um, well, right now my directing thing, so I leave next month. Hopefully, I can talk about it soon. Um, um, in three weeks, I leave in three and a half weeks to start directing, and I'll be doing that for a month. Um, and then I don't know, it's, you know, I have a lot of my projects that we're pitching, which is what I will say to other actors. Make sure you have your stuff um, that we're pitching and working on some really great stuff with some great people that I can't talk about it now, but everybody's going to want to talk about it <laughs> once we, we let that, we let that out the bag. <laughs> yeah, so we'll keep me posted. I will. Okay, I'm here. I will. Um, Brad, nice to see you and talk to you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And Christmas. happy holidays, guys. Thank, Thank you. Much Thank love, you. Bye. Love Bye. You. Bye. Bye, honey.